Cheers, everybody. Happy Friday. I'm very excited to introduce today's artist. He goes by the name of Jack West. And how are we doing, Jack? I'm good. Thank you for having me. You got it. Where are you tuned in from today? Uh, yeah, Rochester, New York. Nothing really special. Oh, okay. So yeah. it's like seven something over there? Yeah. You're like on yeah, the opposite well, actually, end. Today it was really warm, but it's been like in the teens lately, so yeah. But 7 p.m.? Yeah, yeah, 7 p.m. here. Okay, yeah. sweet. Um, all right, so very excited to hear what you have in store for us today. Um, thank you to everyone who's tuned in to today's GM Happy Hour. And throughout the, the entirety of this next hour, we're going to be posting links down below, whether you're tuned in on Facebook or YouTube, um, what have you. And we'll uh, give you the opportunity to check out the music that Jack's put out in the past couple of years um, at the links posted below, in addition to our easy to love wine products at jamsellers.com slash buy. That link will also be available to everybody who's tuned in today and hope uh, everyone's week's gone well and excited to gear on into the weekend with your music, Jack. Cool, thank you. Um, this first song here is a song called Missing Out. Um, Mike McCready from Pearl Jam, he actually uh, hopped on this one and did some guitar. But uh, I'm gonna play this one acoustic. West, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to today's GM Happy Hour. That was Missing Out, which you put out a little over a year ago, um, right? Uh, I put it out this past, but this, this, but this past fall. Um, but uh, 
you know, I started writing last January, but you know, it's out now. So. So did you make any adjustments before releasing it, like to kind of adhere to COVID and everything that's going on, or did the lyrics just happen to kind of mesh with what's going on? Um. Yeah, there was definitely some adjustments. It took a while. Like it was on the back burner for a while, and we didn't really know what to do with it. Um. The uh, lyrics are definitely like COVID inspired because um, I remember we were recording it uh, back in March and April and then at the last minute in like August we got uh, Mike to um, put down some guitar on it which was super cool. But yeah, it's definitely a COVID, uh, I guess it's a COVID track you could say, for sure. And so with this particular song you are like co, did you co-write or just um, feature Pearl Jam guitarist? Um, Mr. Mike. Yeah, no, he, uh, well, we had the song uh, down, and he just, uh, he just, you know, put a lick to it. You know, he was just a feature, um, but he did, you know, he wrote, you know, the solo for it. Um, but nah, me and uh, a few bandmates, uh, you know, we wrote it all um, from uh, scratch, pretty much, so, yeah. Sweet. Love it. Well, everybody who's tuned in, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us on today's Jam Happy Hour. Happy almost weekend. It's almost five o'clock over on the West Coast. Um, and we've got Jack tuned in from New York. We'd love to see where everyone who is tuning in today is tuning in from. So if you want to comment below and um, let us know where you're watching from, we love to see that. Um, and in the meantime, if you would like to check out Jack's music, I think you post a lot, probably more on Instagram than yeah, Facebook. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, and there it is. There's the handle. At Jack West 32. Jack West 32. Cool. Um, and then when it comes to our wines, venture over to jamsellers.com slash buy. And you can find our easy to love wines, whether you'd like them delivered straight to your door or you just want to find where you can purchase them in your local area. We've got all of that for you on our website. Check it out and get those sips as we approach the weekend. Um, all right, Jack, so, um, I know you, it's kind of been a dream of yours to move to California, or at least it was yeah. a couple of years ago. Do you still have that, um, as a sort of game plan or? More than ever. Yeah, <laughs> I know. It's like, I would go anywhere at this point just to like, say I traveled somewhere and like went anywhere other than yeah, my house. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, have you been to Napa before? Yeah, I played. I played the well. I played Bottle Rock uh, like two years yeah. ago, and then I um, last February I opened up for Chris Pierce at the Ballroom, um, which was you know always a good time. Um, but yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think it's cool there. But heck yeah. You know. Well, thank you, Jack. How do you feel about doing? How about we do two songs back to back? All right, yeah, we can do two songs back to back for cool. sure. Cool. What are we gonna be hearing? Um, this next one is a uh, I'll do uh, original on a cover. This next one is uh, called "The Flower City." It was off my first record. Um, came out a little over two years ago, but here it is. <clears throat>
life aboard the ship that runs on through a short term tip from life to death is where we stand this is where we start with no command at all at all something tells me I'm the only one something tells me it's just now begun something tells me I'm the only Tells me it's just now begun Ah, uh, this next one is uh, by one of my favorite bands and one of my favorite songs and I'm sure you all know it. <clears throat> everybody all right so for everybody who just tuned in um, we started out with missing out as that first song that Jack uh, performed for us and then you want to tell the people about the second and third yeah um, the second one uh, that was a song called the flower city um, it was an original off my uh, first record um, that was a long time ago, but uh, and the second one was a cover, uh, Pumped Up Kicks, uh, by Fossil the People, one of my favorite songs and bands um, to date. And I know on your website, so for your 20, it was a 2019 release for the record, mm -hmm. um, and Flower City is that third song off of that eight song release, and people can find that on your website on vinyl and CD right yeah definitely um uh we printed vinyl like a year ago and it's all on my website you know jackwestlive.com so if you're looking for some you know new new music to listen to uh, there you go heck yeah and then for everybody who's like approaching the weekend or maybe it is if you're on the east coast it's already past the five o'clock hour you're already in the weekend um where can they drop a buck or two or what have you into your virtual tip jar? 
Uh, yeah, I think my Venmo is up on there. Uh, there it Jack is. Dash West uh, Dash Forty One, I believe. I don't know if my PayPal's up there, but uh, yeah, it's my Venmo. Uh, it's on the screen, I think, right? Yeah. Yep, there yeah. it is. Cool. Woo. And um, okay, so Jack, I find it very interesting because when I was researching you, I was like, "Holy crap! This guy—he was born in like two thousand four. What?" Yeah. Um, but you've accomplished so much, um, you know, in the past handful of years even. Um, mm -hmm. Was it a little under five years ago that you you actually met um, someone really amazing? I'll let you tell the story. But uh, you both were staying at the same hotel, I believe. Yes, that is correct. Uh, yeah. Did you plan this meet cute or did it actually just coincidentally happen? Yeah, it just coincidentally <laughs> happened. Uh, I, I don't know, planned. Um, no, it just coincidentally happened. I just ran into him and, uh, you know, asked if I could sing with him and shockingly he said yes. Uh, but yeah, that was like four years ago, coming up on four years. Seems like yesterday though. <laughs> so you met Eddie uh, of Pearl Jam. Mm -hmm. And you, so why were you in Nashville? Um, I was there to see him, you know, the, like go to the Pilgrimage Fest and see him. You know, obviously I didn't have plans on meeting him or uh, um, playing with him, but it happened. So, I mean, yeah, that's, that's the main reason, just hang out at the festival. But he doesn't normally just bring someone on stage with him. Yeah, no, so. I know. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I guess he thought I was good. We, we we suspect he was checking me out in the car on the way to the festival, but we don't know. I guess um, I guess he just took a chance. And I guess I was not bad, I guess, you know? And was that your first time? Like, I mean, it was like freaking 30,000 or so people. Yeah. Had you ever even come close to that kind of no. a venue? No. Yeah, no. Oh my gosh. Like the most before that was like, I don't even know, like, like, like maybe 500 people. Wow. Did uh, you, I feel like in that moment, if I were you, I would have just like almost blacked out. You just, well, I think now, even... now if that happened, maybe, but back then I didn't know what was going on. So <laughs> I just went along with it. Oh man. Um, if you, in the future, like if you could pick one person to collab with on stage or to like open for or, um, you know, feature on one of your upcoming songs, who would it be? Um, that's a good question. Um, you can think on it. Yeah. We'll do another song and then uh, yeah, I'll yeah. hear your answer after. How about all that? Right, all right, that's, that's, <laughs> that's fair. All right. Um, all right, this next one uh, is a single called A Little Shine. It came out, it came out this January, so this one's like two months old. Uh, it's, Obviously on all streaming platforms, so feel free, but uh, yeah. Let's run away so we can hide Taking off to take a ride Chase it down that L.A. walk Close the door so we can talk Oh, a little more Ooh, got stuck inside my head tonight Ooh, gonna hit the back but we'll be just fine Ooh, nothing like a little shine, no Here we are, we're so fine right now Come over here so I can see Push me down to pick me up Leave me there, can you brush me off? Take a sip and you'll feel that buzz Slow me down cause I've had enough But I want 
got some more. Ooh, got stuck inside my head tonight. Ooh, gonna hit the back and we'll be just fine. Ooh, laughing like a little shondo. Here we are, we're so fine right now. Come over here so I can see the way you get along with me. Come over here so we can see for ourselves. Come over here to check in line. I'll keep in mind you on this ride. I kinda like it this time. Thank you, Jack. So that's uh, your latest release from just about two months ago, A Little Shine. Did you put yep. out a video for people to uh, Yeah, take I did a look put at? out a video. It's on, a, it's on YouTube. It's called A Little Shine. Um, it's all right, you know? It's getting the views it needs, I guess. <laughs> Where'd you film? Um, well, I, you know, I filmed, like, when I was out west, I filmed, like, my, myself, like, you know, just, like, uh, you know, background scenes or whatever, like, in L.A., which was in October, and then, like, the filming of me happened here in Rochester, um, but, you know, those some combined uh, scenes and stuff from different parts, uh, yeah, it's just, it's cool. Um, okay, so I'm going to ask that hot seat question again. Who would you you know, in the future, if you could pick anyone, and they could be dead or alive, who would you love to share a stage with or open for or uh, feature in a song? Uh, the, the Red Hot Chili Peppers or Jack White. Um, I guess the Red Hot Chili Peppers, uh, Josh Klinghoffer was their old guitarist, as everyone knows. Uh, mm -hmm. And um, that'd be really cool to work on, like, a side thing with him or something. Um, you know, I'm trying to be reasonable, but uh, the Red Hot Chili Peppers would be super cool to like open for, or, like have something going on with their guitar or whatever in a song. Um, but you know, it's uh, it's pretty, it's a long uh, shot. Well, you know, uh, the Red Hot Chili Peppers are scheduled to perform at Bottle Rock in September. Uh, yeah, that's that's what I I saw that, and you know, I was like. I got to go to that. Um, yeah, I'll. I'll um, that, that's super cool. Uh, I I may be there. I don't know. But we'll, see. well, I mean, Jam Sellers were the presenting sponsor for the festival, yeah. so we could probably work something out and do a little <laughs> meet and greet for all you guys to hang out. Uh, yeah, Just yeah, yeah. Let me know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down for that. Um, okay, I have another hot seat question for you, and then we'll get into some more music. Um, if you could pick a theme song for yourself, so let's say there's a camera crew following you around like day in, day out, and you have to pick a song to capture the, the series and the show and like your life in general, what would be the song that you uh, would want as sort of your like motto? Um, again. Oh, All uh, right. I'll let you think on this one too. How about yeah, that? All right, yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> that's, these are some good questions. Um, um, I I have seen you've done some great covers. Um, yes. I think I can't remember which particular song it was, but you did a Billie Eilish song. Yeah. Cover yeah, I did a couple that. months back. Uh, which Ocean was cool. Eyes, I think yeah. Um, yeah. do you want to do a cover? Yeah, I'll do, I'll do a cover for sure. Cool. Um, I'll do a Tom. Petty song. Woo! 
Um, one, I do, I did break a string, so I'm just gonna get a new guitar real quick. I'll do All it right. in 20 seconds. Tom Petty, R.I.P. Cheers to everybody watching at home. Check our wines out at the links posted below, jamsellers.com slash buy, use our wine finder or our delivery system or the Drizzly app is another great resource to purchase our wines and get them directly to your doorstep. And of course, check out Jack's music at uh, the links that we've been posting below in addition to our wines. Without further ado, let's hear this fifth song. <laughs> saw him for the first time and the last time uh, a few months before he passed at Bottle Rock, actually. Yeah, Bottle Rock. Jeez, yeah, uh, that must be crazy. Amazing. Um, yeah, when he was 11, like 10 or 11, I want to say, um, kind of his, like, inspo for music creation, he met Elvis, like, his dad, and, um, and he, like, were walking. I think uh, Elvis was, like, filming... A movie and on set and they like happened to they probably like sought him out I'm yeah. assuming but mm -hmm. um Tom Petty was like super nervous and just yeah. said like hi uh and then got really obsessed with Elvis and and blues and rock and roll and mm -hmm. um it kind of you know it it went from there but I think that's kind of a, a nifty little story yeah you can hear it in the sound for sure um and then yeah Tom Petty so Tom Petty like compares compared um, music creation and the creative process for him as like fishing. He would basically lock himself in a room and wait for the bite. He would wait for the fish mm -hmm. to bite. Basically, he'd wait for that inspiration. Um, and he would just like force himself almost to 
have yeah. something come to them, which I think is really interesting because everyone has such a different way mm -hmm. about the creative process when it comes to music. Um, do you have a particular process? Like, does the melody or the plot or a specific lyric, you know, start first? Or how does that typically go down for you? Um, recently, like in the past year, I've written like all these songs that came out this summer, I like wrote on the piano. So I haven't really been playing guitar that much. I've been playing a lot of piano and writing a lot of music on there. And it mostly starts out with like the chords. And I realized like I don't need to do all these complex like chord uh, like uh, formations to like make a, you know, make a, you know, a good song. Um, you know, I, I realized the simpler the better. Um, but yeah, the chords definitely come first, and then the lyrics have always came like easy to me, or the part I enjoyed the most. So um, yeah, I would say that's kind of how it goes. Okay, and then when it comes to just like your schooling right now, because <laughs> you're still you're still sixteen, right? Yeah. yeah. So you're still in high school. Are you still in the like virtual version? of schooling right now, or are you back to in-person schooling or homeschooling? Well, I'm in 10th grade and I've been doing like home, I've been doing like a mixture of like online homeschooling for the past like three years. So um, uh, right now I'm just taking some classes at this uh, college nearby and um, that's that's all I'm doing. They're all virtual, so it's all, it's all works out, I guess, you know? Well, I mean, if you've been doing that for the past three years, kind of that mm -hmm. mix of virtual already, I guess it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't all that much change. of a shock. Yeah. yeah so that's good. You're already kind of accustomed to that style mm -hmm. of schooling. Yeah. Are you planning on, like, speeding up the process and graduating early, or uh, are you just kind of taking your time and uh, focusing on music? Um, I'll definitely, for these college classes I do, I already have, like, a bunch of credits. So, I mean, it's not like... I don't know if I'll be. Go I don't know if I'll be going to college. You know who knows. But uh, um, uh, no, I think I'm gonna graduate like the rest of them. You know, eighteen or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, if anything, I'm behind because I blow off to school a lot. So mm -hmm. <laughs> just get that high school degree, and then yeah. and then after that, you know, the world is your oyster. At least the degree, yeah. <laughs> um, or I guess high school diploma. Yeah. It's not a degree. But <laughs> um, how for you has like the musical process uh, changed? Because, you know, even in the past three years, you were 13 three years ago. And um, obviously, like all your inspirations probably kind of adapted and evolved in the meantime. But like for this past year, specifically with the pandemic, um, presented to all of us how has yeah. that kind of changed everything for you with well, inspiration yeah um i over the past two years i've been starting to listen to all sorts of different kind of music which has influenced what i write um you know i spent a lot of time this um this covid lockdown inside writing music so i guess if anything it's made me like want to write more and see what i can do opposed to you know, I guess it was a good thing I made the most of it, so, you know. Yeah. It's all we can do right now. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, all right, perfect. So, do we have any other songs that you'd like to play off of your 2019 release? Maybe we can do a couple back-to-back, -back or whatever you're feeling. Yeah, the, for the record, yeah. Um, this one is, uh, this one's called Leave Us Behind, <laughs> off the first record. Woo. I won't, but I did anyway. And then 
This is where I've got to Second song off of uh, yeah, uh, your 2019 release? I think, yeah, second song. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, how did you come up with the order in which you're gonna put all the, the eight songs together in the um, intro was, and outro? I guess uh, we just listened to them all. Like, it was pretty random, it wasn't anything special, but uh, I don't know, I mean, whatever just sounded best in a row, um, that's what we came up with. Um, but it's nothing special, so. How did you get a hold of, because I know you and Barrett Jones, um, you like ended up going to Seattle and you guys like mm -hmm. decided on these particular eight songs because you'd come up with, you know, like a dozen more at least. Yeah, um, yeah, I know. How'd you get a hold of him? Like, how did that come to be? 
Um, like two months before I actually flew out there, I just like hit him up on Instagram and um, he responded. He was already following me at the time. He said, you know, he liked my stuff and would be interested. And I sent him like, I think 20 songs and like eight of them, <laughs> like he thought were good or, you know, worthy. Um, so yeah, then like literally just like two months later, I was just like in a studio out west, which is pretty cool. It happened pretty fast, so. Dude, like being in the laundry room studio, you're yeah. like in the same area and the same zone as like Foo Fighters and Nirvana have like things have come to be in that particular studio for Nirvana and Foo Fighters and uh, so many amazing artists and that must have been a little bit of a trip. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was cool. Um, I don't really know what to think. It, it, it's a really big, open, nice space and a nice studio to be in. And it was a lot of fun, um, especially knowing what went down there years ago. Absolutely. Now, did you grow up listening to like classic rock and and uh, you know the the Tom Petty and the the Pearl Jam of music or? Um, is that something that you kind of discovered later on? Uh, you no, know, I, I definitely, because my parents were, like, always in the Pearl Jam and the Doors and all that um, stuff. And I remember, like, my first CD was, like, the Morrison Hotel, um, the Doors album or whatever, mm -hmm. when I was four. And from then on, it just, you know, just always been into it. Um, and, and then I always, like, hated any other kind of music besides like a specific group of bands but now I've like opened up to like all sorts of type of music which is you know much more people would do the same but <laughs> was that kind of like the inspiration because I know you were like not even 10 you were like super young when you picked up the guitar and mm -hmm. like, started uh, playing instruments I know you you're musically talented with yeah. multi um, instruments so um, was that something that your your dad kind of like wanted you to do, or were you just interested? Um, I was just I've always been like interested into it for a young age. Um, I got like my first guitar when I was seven, first real guitar. I had like a small, like first act ones when I was like four or whatever. But I started taking lessons when I was seven, and like the first song I learned was like "Hello, I Love You" by The Doors. So it was like all me, like nobody like really influenced it and plus my parents can't play anything so <laughs> hey i think your dad's watching right now no, be nice <laughs> i'm sure he can do like one song there's probably like a mm. lullaby he sung to you Maybe. and it was like okay yeah. <laughs> um so i'm gonna get back to the hot seat question that i asked that i told you i would uh, circle back to what would your theme song be if you had a, a reality show based on your life um Either, I have like two. Um, Perfect. Especially in Michigan by the Red Hot Sweet Peppers mm -hmm. and Sit Next to Me by Frost of the People. I like it. One could be like the intro song to the show and then one could be the, the song that closes the show out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right. Well, as we're approaching the hour mark, we got like 15 minutes left. So why don't we close out with a couple more songs if you're up for doing like two more back to back? Yeah, for sure. All right. Thank you to everybody who's tuned in today. Cheers. Uh, this next one is uh, Ezra Freeman cover. I just gotta love you so bad. Oh,
song called Run Back to Me. It just came out in September. And again, it's all on Spotify and all that stuff for you guys to stream. So make sure to check it out.
Well, thank you. Thank you to everybody who tuned in today. Uh, Jam Happy Hour featured Jack West today, and you uh, definitely should check out his music posted at the links below. Uh, in addition to that, check out our wines at the link also posted below, jamsellers.com. And what is the link for your site, Jack, real quick for the people listening? Uh, my website, jackwestlive.com. Perfect. Head on over there. You can get the CD or vinyl version of his 2019 release in addition to merch and just the general, I think, like, uh, you have all the links to your social media accounts, right? All right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So if you're looking for those more live updates, you can follow him on Instagram or check him out on Facebook. And, again, thank you so much to everyone who tuned in. Thank you, Jack. Yeah, thanks for having me. It was so much fun. Mm -hmm. Cheers, everybody.